Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading for January of 2018. It's finally here, New Year. Um, this is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I would pay closest attention to my moon sign if I were you. There's a link in the description box below if you don't know your moon sign. And then this is also for you if you're spying on a Leo. So I've been telling all the signs that I have a really good feeling about January because Every day since the new year, I've been waking up to these Ed Sheeran songs that are like the happy romantic ones, not the breakup ones. So I feel like love is in the air. So this month is going to be a little bit different than previous months in talking about how can we bring more love in if you're coupled and how can we bring in love if you're not. Okay, so what do you want in love in January? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. This is kind of cool. Um, but also kind of frustrating because you have two competing energies here. You know that you want someone honest. You know that you want someone who's like a good communicator, that they're forthcoming. You know that you want somebody that's not going to cause you anxiety in your love life. You want a relationship that's easy. But then you're kind of like not really thinking about how you want them forever. You're not thinking long term. Um, and you might not even be thinking about right now. You're kind of just like happy on your own if you're alone or like you're kind of just like eh, not so much thinking about love. So if Leos don't watch this video as much as other signs, I guess they get why. Um, they're like, you know, you just don't want things to change. Like as things are is good. Um, they're saying part of this, though, is that a few of you are having like a little bit of a confidence crisis. Now, personally, as a Leo myself, I can tell you I think that's true. Like I'm totally content to be single right now. But then like when I start thinking about what is it that I want in a relationship, I know that I want someone honest. I know I want low drama. But then I also am like, I don't know how I would make time for someone in my life right now because my life is pretty good the way it is. And I feel like it would almost be a burden to have someone in there. And then also like, just based on my circumstances and how I feel about my faith and things like that, like it'd be very challenging to find the exact right person. But I need to remember that it's not about me finding them. The universe will bring them to me when the timing is right, right? And I need to not fret. So there's that. What have you learned in love in 2017 and years previous um, that will help you out now? <laughs> <clears throat> so <laughs> this is kind of funny what you've learned is like there are some relationships that are just entirely hopeless right no matter how much you try and force some like a square to fit in a circle it's just not gonna right you might have little goals like you might get it like wedged in there and then it gets stuck Kind of a thing so you're manifesting certain scenarios and you might see those play out but it wasn't meant to be like some of you have kind of learned that and not necessarily in your love life but in general because it affects your love life so what they're saying is you've also learned how to do self-love how to care about yourself how to put yourself first and that's super important they say that you're really really focused right now and that's also good but the problem is that when you're so focused you're not seeing um, opportunities and things that are out there to either grow your love with your existing partner or to meet a new partner. So they're saying you might have to start thinking about things in untraditional ways, in ways that you haven't previously done things. You know, um, I'm, for example, if you've never online dated, that might be something new that you want to try. If that's the way you've always dated, maybe you want to be set up with a friend or, um, if you're in a coupled relationship, maybe you want to try going different places that you've never been, like on an adventure. One fun thing that you could do is, you know, go to Google Flights and then just click that I feel lucky button and see where it could fly you and see where you could go on a trip. Be totally spontaneous. Okay, are you ready for love? I love it. Okay, so they're saying, yeah, yeah. If you're feeling good, if you're feeling happy, then you are ready for love. Um, but the problem is that some of you are not ready to relinquish control and just let the universe do its do. So um, a lot of you do want a lover, but you want it to be your choice, right? As to when, how, um, that sort of thing. Like, But if it's your fated person, you have to be able to be open and go with the flow. And so they're saying... Um, 
like all of the endings and things from 2017 or things that maybe have spewed over into 2018 that need to come to an end are so you can walk through a new door with a lot of positive blessings. So this is a really, really good omen. Yes, you're ready for love so long as you're willing to relinquish control. Okay. What are the subconscious energies that will come up in the month of January for you um, and kind of affect your love life? So what they're saying is some of you might be feeling um, a little bit lonely, even if you're in a relationship, like you may not feel super connected. Now, what it's saying is, though, that you're not refusing love. It's just an energy you have right now because there's some sort of energetic force that doesn't make you feel like your strongest, most Leo rawr self. So what they're saying is um, the reason why is because some of us are struggling to put past things behind us. Okay, um, but once you can kind of move forward and really leave that past in the past, once you can kind of declare what it is you're working for and take the actual steps of co-creation towards manifesting what you desire, that energy just goes away. So it's actually a choice for you. Um, what are your current blocks? And then how are we going to get over them? So the current blocks and okay. Current blocks are um, a little bit of emotional imbalance. Our emotions might be good one day and then the next day not so much. And it's probably because of whatever you're thinking about, um, especially like in regards to struggles in your love life. So what they're saying is be really clear and direct about what it is you want and don't settle for less. Like especially in a relationship, if you... Um, need to be treated a certain way or be shown love a certain way, you have to be really honest. Like, look, I don't think this is going to work out if I'm not getting what I need from the relationship. And same thing when you're dating, you know, like, hey, do you want to go on a date? Well, um, you know, here is what I am looking for. And if you're not looking for the same things, then probably not, even though I'm attracted to you or whatever. So what they're saying is, um, You've got to really take this mindset that leaving things behind you is good <laughs> because there's solitude and peace moving away from those things. Even if, um, you know, wherever you were, whatever mindset you were in was comfortable for you because it was routine because you knew what to expect. Some of us decide to stay in misery because we are comfortable there because we've been there so long and that's not what you should be doing. Okay, so... Uh, how would you, can you ready your heart for love this month? They say, get excited. Get excited about what's to come, even if you don't know what's coming. Trust that what's coming is awesome, and it's going to be passionate, and it's going to be amazing. You got to be spontaneous, and not and don't worry so much about the day-to-day -day life. Especially after a new year, when we have these resolutions, and we want to create awesome new routines, we have to take a break from those um, this month in regards to our love life, so that we can experience all of this spontaneity and joy and excitement and passion. Um, how are you going to ready your mind for love? And they say, um, well, you're doing it. If you're thinking about the things that you desire in a love relationship, you're doing it. You're, get, you're on your way there. Um, and then we just have to co-create these realities, but we need to do it in a way where we are taking our lessons and we are moving forward towards peace and solitude and something better than we've had before. And, you know, even in a relationship, it's the same kind of thing. Like, okay, you know what? I'm going to change the way that I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm not going to be so defensive when you ask me why I A, B, or C. You know, I'm going to say, you know what? I understand this is important to you and just handle it. It could be that kind of a thing where you're moving towards peace and then it brings up more passion and excitement and enthusiasm in your life. Okay, and then how are you going to ready your spirit for love? And they say just finding the joy in every moment. Um, they're also saying that that um, that by like not holding on to what you think you should do. Like, this is kind of a weird one where it's like, you know, maybe society or your family or your friends think that you're, you should... Um, First find a career and then find a partner and then get married and then move in together and then have kids. Like maybe that's not what's right for you. Maybe you don't want to have kids. Maybe you don't believe in marriage. Maybe you want to find love and have a baby first and then get married and find a career later. They're like, you do what's right for you. And they say, you know what? The thing is, is even if all of this process takes some time, even if it takes longer than you want, 
you have to really believe that the good things are coming for you because that belief, that full on childlike trust is what's going to suck that energy right to you and become real in front of you. Okay, what's a positive thing you can do this month in order to either find a partner or to increase love with your current partner? And they're saying, um, take action. You have to do that passionate action and enthusiasm. You have to have that energy. And they're saying, um, you know, with that defensive energy, the only real thing that you need to um, kind of embrace with it is your... It's, how do I describe this? It's like a rejection of other people's ideas of how you should be living your life. You need to live your life the way that you want to. So, so you know, stand up for yourself. If other people want to tell you how to live or what you should do or in what order, you just say, no, this is my life and it's my choice and this is what I want and what makes me happy. That's really going to be a focus for some of you. Um, so now we're going to shift decks here and I'm going to pull up like kind of a theme um, for you to focus on this month or meditate on and then positive affirmations to go with it in order to bring you more love in your life. Okay. And we're getting ritual. Another sign had this. I don't know who it was. But um, for this one, they're saying that like if you can create some sort of a healthy spiritual ritual for yourself, whether that's like gratitude journaling every day, whether it's like getting exercise and just clearing your mind, whatever it is, that's going to be very helpful for you. Um, I find a lot of comfort and clarity in cleaning actually. So I have actually written it down in my um, agenda that every single day I'm going to spend 15 minutes just cleaning in the morning and then 15 minutes in the afternoon and then right before bed. And I find so much health from this. Like I am clearing my mind as I do it. I find that I'm a happier person because it's like one thing off my list. Okay, anyway, here are your affirmations. I am calm and I am still. I'm releasing the pain that holds me down. As one door closes, another one opens, which we totally had here with that world card. And I am ready to move forward. But you have to remember that you are ready to move forward towards peace and solitude. Okay? Because that was a big theme here for you. So best of luck and love in the month of January. And I can't wait to see you in February. Mwah!